Right, welcome back to Lynx Lynx Adventures. You join me, we're just in the middle of a deer field. I've just come from, it's Saturday morning, um, just come for a walk in the wilds. Uh, you know, yeah, you might be able to see him in the background there. I'm with my friend Mark. Um, just been chased out of this field by deers. So there we go. We've come for a walk today in the wilds, just around Wales B and TLB, and you might be able to see in the distance, over there, there Lincoln Cathedral, just in the background. So some cracking views already and we've only just started, we've not even done a mile yet, so uh, some cracking views already. Uh, also I'm going to be testing out my Descati stove again and just cooking up a breakfast, uh, so yeah. So best get out of this field I think. There's quite a few of them as well. <laughs> So we are just cooking some breakfast up on the trans here. As you can see, I've got the tarp set up as well. I'm just having a couple of breakfast buns. So we've just come to a woodland on the, on, well, come past the woodland on our walk. I'll tell you about the walk uh, very shortly, but. Here we go, Mark's just doing us a coffee. <laughs> So as you saw, we had a bit of brekkie um, and tidied ourselves up. Um, there's not been a lot, lot more to video really on the wall. We've got the best of the views up there. If you can see the church in the background, just up there. So we've come back along the road and come up uh, another public footpath um, back to where we started. So like I said at the start, well, no, not, I didn't say at the start. Uh, this walk is around Walesby and Tealby in the Lincolnshire Walls. Uh, I'll show you on the map in a bit. Um, and we followed a little bit of the Viking Way. I can't remember how long the Viking Way is. I think it's 200 and, 200 and something mile actually, which starts in Hessel and finishes in Nottingham, I think. Uh, so we've done a little bit of that and then sort of looped back around to, to where we parked the car this morning. Um, so yeah, it's been a really nice walk. First, first time I've done this walk. Uh, but like I said, it's one of the best walks I've done in the walls. There's only a short one. I think it was about 4.2 mile or something like that. Um, but yeah, one of the best walks for views anyway in the walls. So like I said, I'll show you on the map where we've been. So Wales not quite to Tealby actually, I tell a lie. But um, but yeah, started in Wales and then just sort of looped loop back round. But uh, definitely, like I said, one of the one of the best walks I've done. I'll just show you, show you around this way as well. Uh, so there you go uh, But thanks for watching Like I said, I'll just show you quickly on the map um, I didn't get a chance to use my Descati stove because um, Mark boiled enough water for us both to have a coffee uh, But like I said, I'll do a separate little review of that anyway uh, But yeah, right, I'll show you on the map uh, where we've been and where we've walked Right, take two because I didn't have the 4k on uh, So we started here uh, at this church here in Walesby and we've gone through here Sorry about the shadow as well, by the way. Uh, that's the Ramblers Church that we went to. Uh, we followed the Viking Way all the way down. Some cracking views. Bit of an incline here, as you can see from the contours. All the way down here. This is where we had a bit of breakfast in this little woodland. Uh, down to this fork here. And then went loop back on ourselves along the road. And then back along this little footpath here. And then back to where we started. Uh, so like I said, I'll put on the screen how long it was. I think it was about 4.2 miles when I looked and planned it before we came. Uh, but like I just said, cracking walk for the views. Uh, definitely recommend it and I'll definitely be doing it again. I'll try and uh, make it a little bit longer next time, I think. Um, but yeah, but definitely recommend it. 
Right, I might be right or I might be wrong. I don't know if this is wild garlic. I've been on the lookout for this around the walls um, like this time of year. And I'm going to pick some, uh, but I don't know if it is actually wild garlic. So if, if you know, let me know. Put it in the comments. That'll be great. Uh, I'm going to have a little research. I'm going to take some with me. It does smell like wild garlic, but I just want to make sure before we start um, putting in my food and stuff like that and making it up because I've seen some people make like a nice little pesto or a paste with it and stuff like that. But but yeah, let me know in the comments if uh, if it is or if it isn't. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to pick some now and take some home with me and do a bit of research. But let me know. Uh, I'm going to sign off here. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up um, and also hit that subscribe button. That'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.